Here's hoping for something new and something that doesn't suck, maybe? <laughs> maybe? Hi, Kazkin Cha Cha. No, this does not sound promising. So yeah, evidently this is another anime-based game. Yeah, another one where I don't have to actually scroll the text. Although given that this was aimed at little children, presuming by the look of the anime and the uh, graphics here and what's going on, I, you know, kind of feel bad for the Japanese kids that got this. They're struggling to read this as a... Uh, just zips by. <laughs> Seriously, could have given the kids a few more seconds to read each uh, section here. I can figure it's uh, some sort of school for, you know, witches, wizards, and other magical beings. All I gathered out of that little intro. And we get our uh, choice of character, so... Let's go with this guy. At least here you can actually uh, choose when to progress the text, so that's kind of... Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Do I have a location I'm trying to get to? Oh, I see. That's... What? <laughs> what? I don't even... What? Does it matter? I guess who I end up talking with changes based on which location I pick, but, um, I don't have any idea who I'm going to be talking with before I pick a location, so the whole, you know, follow the bars puzzle there isn't really a puzzle because we don't know the destination, so we can't figure it out. It's just random. Okay, so text in... Okay, we're in control again. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my lord, okay. We are the cartwheel kid. <laughs> we cartwheel everywhere, all the time. Don't know where we're going, but we're cartwheeling there. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> and, uh, oh, we ran into a person. Yep. This is reminding me a lot of that uh, Chibi Maruko-chan game that we played a little while back and had a uh, similar lack of luck in actually, um, you know, figuring out where to go and what to do. Wow, we can- we are so skilled at cartwheeling, we can cartwheel in place. Now that is skill. But, um, yeah, that had, uh, Chibi Maruko Game Chan Game had a very, uh, kind of exactly like this sense of, I don't know where to go, I don't know what to do, I'm just, uh, wandering around a schoolhouse, it looks like. And, um, yeah. Not really getting anything accomplished. Oh, and like the Chibi Maruko Game, it, um, loops in on itself. Let's try and exit this, uh, you know, Mobius strip of a school. Can't do that, so, um... Yeah, given the fact that uh, we can't actually make any progress, given the fact that... Well, 
now that I'm actually reading the stuff on the bottom, uh, there are things that are saying attack, run away, and left and right, so, um, I don't know about left and right, but, you know, attack and run away would in indicate that this is some kind of thing which will have, you know, battles or the like in it. I just don't have the first clue of how to actually do anything other than wander around this schoolhouse and talk with people with jai freaking gigantic eyes. Yeah, that is our cue to say. This has been Akazukin Cha Cha, and uh, we've apparently been told to go to the forest, so let's see if we can actually go to the forest. Oh my god, we can go to the forest. Oh! So how do we... Um... None of the options are doing anything. I can't cartwheel around if I'm <laughs> stuck in the options. Oh! 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 Okay. No, oh, I can't cartwheel anymore. So, yeah, um... We got in a fight with the tornado, and we lost. Shocking. And here we are jumping over the trees! And we found a kid. Was I supposed to? I'm... confused. Uh, now there's a map, so it's kind of nifty. There we go! Oh, I see! So, okay. The left and right were empty because I had nothing in my left or right hand. Now I have a... Haitake? Or Haitake. The hell is a Haitake? No matching characters or, you know, words. I think, uh, a Hatake shows up as, like, a field or a cultivated plot, and the other thing next to it is Kinoko, so now we have, I guess, some kind of cultivated mushroom in our, uh, I'm gonna say right hand. So we have met a uh, Russian circus fair. Uh, okay. <laughs> we have, uh, we're, we're apparently a fox creature. Okay, and checking on it, yes, the mushroom is in our right hand. And near as I can tell, our character's name is Ria. Assuming that's the name, given that he's saying Ria punch and Ria kick for these attacks. And yeah, we've beaten up the Russian circus bear. Awesome. Kinda goose step in there a little bit. And now we have a sweet toe. What is that? Might be like a sweet, like a candy. Or it could be a water bottle or a canteen. Okay. Going to assume water canteen, then let's see. If we use that. It's a cat's head shaped 
water bottle. <laughs> and... I don't see anything happening, so... Let's try the mushroom. Yay! HP restored. Cool. Oh, we got another water bottle. Okay. And apparently that's as far as that goes. Hmm. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, this goes here. Okay, I see. Now that uh, that's figured out, I'm gonna go ahead and say... Yeah, this has been Akazukin... Uh, Akazukin Cha-Cha. It's been, um... A little bit interesting once we actually got to... the game, instead of just... cartwheeling around talking with everybody. Although I think I prefer the cartwheeling, to be quite honest. Uh, yeah, this is, uh... I, I, I don't know, I... I, I had never heard of this show before, so I don't know how popular it is, I don't know how many fans of this series there would be, if they would be interested in this game or not. I can only assume yes, but uh, then again, given the One Piece game we just played, I would uh, go out on a limb and say most One Piece fans would not enjoy that One Piece game, so maybe the same will happen here, maybe it wouldn't, I don't really know. But, um, yeah, we're done here, and I would not recommend this to, uh, pretty much anybody. 